Time to touch our bags. It is another NFL mail sack edition of the show as we answer your questions from all across the National Football League. This comes from our live show that we do on Thursdays where people use the hashtag NFL or Super Chat and we react to it in real time. Before we get to this week's questions, I want to remind you that we are your off-season headquarters here at NFL Daily as we're bringing you daily NFL coverage. News and rumors, we also are talking free agency, the draft, trades, and more. Bosses want to know, can we get 20 subs off today's video? If we can, we'll bring you even more NFL content here on the channel, but you guys got to prove it. Subscribe now for the latest happenings across the National Football League, youtube.com slash chatsportstv to subscribe for free today. First question in the mailbag comes from the Bob Ross. He's the Chia Pet guy, right? I think so. Chia! Uh, He's on that thing. Um, Could we see a team like the Ravens trade for Devontae Adams? Hashtag NFL. Bob, very good question. Two teams in particular come to mind. If Devontae Adams is going to be traded from the Las Vegas Raiders, then I would look out for the Baltimore Ravens, and I'd look out for the New York Jets. The Jets... The Aaron Rodgers connection, obviously. But the Ravens seem to be the loudest team when it comes to the wide receiver market of trying to find somebody, of trying to make a splash of sorts. Feels like every time there's a wide receiver rumor out there, the Baltimore Ravens are are, are named. So those are the teams I'm watching for. Him and Rodgers together again would be interesting in New York. Um, they've made quite... A lot of moves throughout this NFL, uh, you know, offseason of sorts. Uh, so the Jets would be interesting. The Ravens, they feel like they're very close, but they need another receiver to get them over that hump. Devontae Adams would certainly do that. They're in win-now mode. So those are the teams I'm watching for. But even with that said, I think the Raiders are probably keeping Devontae Adams, at least for now anyway. We'll see if that changes. Let's ask you, your chance to be top Telesco. Will the Ra- Raiders... Trade Devontae Adams. Why for yes and for no? Way in the comments section. Let us know what you think. Today's show is sponsored by Price Picks. Price Picks is the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works. Use two or more players in any given category. Get the choice of more or less. Whether you're talking rebounds in basketball, goals in hockey, fantasy points in NASCAR. Maybe it's birdies in golf. The Masters this week from Augusta National. This is the entry I had for Thursday. I had Phil Mickelson with less than two and a half birdies or better. Victor Hovland with more than three and a half birdies or better. I put $20 down on it. If it hits, then I'm making $60 on prize picks. Play along with me, prizepicks.com. Promo code CLS for a $100 deposit match. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Prizepicks.com. Promo code CLS for that $100 deposit match. Danny DeVito writes, will we see the Pats move on from Matthew Judon? I think so. I think the Patriots will move on from Matthew Judon because the Patriots are just awful. They are a bad football team, and they're not anywhere close to contending. Matthew Judon is in the prime of his career right now. And you look at Matthew Judon, I know he's coming off that injury last year, but I have no concerns that he'll come back and play at a high level. And a couple teams that come to mind, I know we already mentioned the Ravens earlier, but what about a return to Baltimore for Matthew Judon? I think the Ravens regret letting him end up with the New England Patriots a few years ago. If they had to do it over again, Matthew Judon would have never left Baltimore. Here's a chance to fix that. Uh, That's a team that comes to mind that's still looking for uh, some help in that department where uh, Matthew Judon's at. And then another team, they've been maybe the most aggressive team the last two or three seasons, if you will, when it comes to making trades and trying to put themselves over the top, the San Francisco 49ers. I think those are the teams that come to mind. I think the Patriots will move on from Judon, try to get what they can out of him now, just because he doesn't need to go through a rebuild in the prime of his career. They need to get something out of him while they can. And a team like San Fran... That defense already good. Oh, could you imagine? Watch out. Uh, New England, I think, 
could be a, uh, in for a situation where they'll have plenty of suitors. Will the Patriots trade Matthew Judon? T for trade, K for keep. What do you think? Is Judon leaving New England? Way in the comment section, let us know. Mason writes, is there a chance the Bears get Micah Parsons? I don't think Micah Parsons is going anywhere at the moment. But that's the key thing is the moment. There was a report that came out this week from uh, 105.3 The Fan, one of the Dallas radio stations, that if the Cowboys were to move on from Micah Parsons and not give him that big paycheck that he desires, that some people would be okay with that within the building in Dallas. That he doesn't necessarily have the greatest relationships with everybody involved there. With that said, you look at this season for the Dallas Cowboys, pressure is on to get this thing right with McCarthy, with Dak, with, with Micah. But if this season goes as we expect it to, where the Cowboys once again find a way to choke when it matters in January, then they will hit the reset button and the rebuild will be on and they will start over from scratch McCarthy will be gone, Dak will be gone, and probably Micah Parsons will be gone. So I don't think Micah is leaving the Dallas Cowboys tomorrow, but we could have a discussion a year from now, and a team like Chicago or certainly a number of suitors could potentially be in line to grab up Micah Parsons. Eric says, who do you think the New York Giants will draft? I think they're going receiver uh, in the first round. It all kind of depends on who's available. If somehow Marvin Harrison Jr. slips to the Giants pick, they'll take him. I think it's most likely uh, Roma Dunze or Malik Neighbors, one of those two, but they are going receiver. It's going to be one of those three guys ending up with the New York football Giants. AJ's RC says, what's the probability on T. Higgins to the Giants? Do you think any other good trading substitutes? So this is something we talked about on the channel this week of the idea of T. Higgins going to New York. And I got to say, if you're the Giants, you might not have to give up a first-round pick to get T. Higgins, all right? So that's a good start. And you could still draft like a Roma Dunze or Malik Neighbors or Marvin Harrison Jr., or whoever's there, and pair up with T. Higgins, all of a sudden you got an explosive offense that would intrigue a lot of people. I think it's very possible that T. Higgins ends up in New York. XX Epic Jet XX, uh, I'm not going to that website, uh, says, with the top three teams and 11 through 13 needing a QB, do all six quarterbacks go off the board by 15 or do Penix and Knicks fall? Uh, no, all six quarterbacks are not going in the top 15. I think you're going to have four quarterbacks in the top five and then we see a drop-off from there. I don't know when Penix gets picked. I don't know when Bo Nix gets picked. They both might be second round. But top 15, no chance. No chance in hell that six quarterbacks going in the top 15. Because let's be honest, if you actually went by first-round grades of these quarterbacks, Caleb Williams would get a first-round grade, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, they would get actual first-round grades. I don't even know if I'd give J.J. McCarthy an actual first-round grade at this point. Teams are so desperate for the quarterback position that they're overreaching for guys that aren't worth first-round picks. So, no, I don't think Penix and Knicks are going to go top 15. Time for uh, one more. Last question. Dog Pound K9 writes, who gets traded first? Scary Terry McLaurin, D.K. Metcalf, or Devontae Adams? I don't think Terry's going anywhere. I don't think D.K.'s going anywhere. Devontae Adams is the answer. Um, whether it's this offseason or next, Devontae Adams' time in Las Vegas is coming to an end. Um, he's getting closer to the back end of his prime now where the Raiders will need to cash in and try to get what they can for him. And the Raiders are not anywhere close to competing uh, at the top of the AFC. So I think Devontae Adams of those three gets traded first, but I don't think it's – coming in the next week or so. I think we're talking about a year from now, more than likely. Who's the player you want your team to trade for? Sound off the comment section. Let us know a player you'd like to see your team add. Folks, appreciate you joining us here on the channel. As always, subscribe now for more NFL coverage, and we'll see you next time.